the Dragon Boat Festival is one of the four most important traditional Chinese festivals. If you are curious about its history and customs, then you have come to the right place. In this video, we'll talk about when it's celebrated, explore the festival's origins, and look at the various traditions and customs associated with this festival. And last but not least, we'll also suggest the best places to experience the holiday vibe and activities in China. Ready to explore the Dragon Ball Festival? Let's dive in. When is the Dragon Ball Festival celebrated? The Dragon Ball Festival is a popular traditional festival celebrated not only in China but also some other Asian countries. The Dragon Ball Festival falls on the fifth day of the fifth lunar month every year. When converted to the Gregorian calendar, also known as the solar calendar, it's usually around May or June every year. For example, in 2023, the Dragon Ball Festival takes place on June 22nd. In 2024, it will be on June 10th. And in 2025, it will be on May 31st. The Dragon Ball Festival originated in China. And in Chinese, it is called Duangwu Jie. The first written record of the term Duangwu dates back to a book called Feng Tu Ji, which documented various local festivals and customs during the Western Xing Dynasty. However, by the time the book was written, the Dragon Ball Festival customs had been popular in China for many years. What is the origin of the Dragon Ball Festival? There are various theories. The most agreed upon theory by most scholars is that the festival originated from the ancient worship of celestial signs. According to the archaeological study conducted by the renowned Chinese scholar Wen Yi Duo, the Dragon Ball Festival can be traced back to the ancient tribe, Bai Yue Zhu. The Bai Yue people worshipped the dragon as their guardian deity and incorporated the dragon design on their totem. Every year on the fifth day of the fifth lunar month, they held a dragon totem worship ceremony. Why the fifth day of the fifth lunar month every year? The ancient Chinese started exploring the mysteries of the universe a long time ago. To facilitate their observation of star orbits, they divided the sky into 28 regions. Among the stars, they found an astrological sign that looked strikingly similar to a dragon, which appeared in cycles. On the fifth day of the fifth lunar month every year, this sign would land in the center of the sky. This also explains why the festival is called Duangwu. Duan means right on, and Wu means center. This theory is the more accepted theory by historians when it comes to the origin of the Dragon Ball Festival. However, among the common people, there is a different story that has been passed down for generations. According to the story, the Dragon Ball Festival was dedicated to Qi Yuan. Qi Yuan was a patriotic poet and minister from the state of Chu during the Warring States period. His policy of enriching the country and strengthening the army was opposed by some of the nobles. Eventually, Qi Yuan was dismissed from his post, expelled from the capital, and exiled to the territory of present-day Hunan province. During his exile, he was still worried about his country and wrote several famous poems that have been passed down to this day to express his concern and sorrow for his country. In 278 BC, the state of Qin conquered the state of Chu. Qi Yuan was heartbroken and desperate upon learning that his country was invaded. After composing a poem as a suicide note, he committed suicide by drowning on the fifth day of the fifth lunar month. When the locals heard about Qi Yuan's death, 
They immediately paddled up and down the river to find his body. Unfortunately, after searching for a long time, they weren't able to find his body. The locals were worried that the fish in the river might devour Chi Yuan's body, so they went home and bought rice balls to feed the fish in the river in the hope that it would prevent the fish from devouring his body. Later on, to express their condolences to Chi Yuan, every year on the fifth day of the fifth lunar month, they will paddle on the river and eat rice dumplings, zongzi. Although the story that the Dragon Ball Festival commemorates Chi Yuan is widely spread among the common people, it is not a credible story based on the archaeological research conducted by historians, as the research indicated that various Dragon Ball Festival customs existed prior to Chi Yuan's life. What are the Dragon Ball Festival customs? It would take a long time to list everything due to the vast geographical diversity of China with different conditions in different regions. Additionally, there are various stories and legends about the festival that have been passed down locally, leading to not only different names for the Dragon Ball Festival, but also different customs in different areas. In this video, we'll explore some of the most popular customs that are widely celebrated. Hanging up mugwort twigs. Mugwort, which is ai cao in Chinese, is a medicinal plant. Its stems and leaves emit a unique aroma. It's believed to have insect repelling properties and boost energy. Common people also believe that it can ward off evil spirits. During May, mugwort is at its peak growth and fragrance. People hand mugwort twigs on their doors during the festival as a tradition. Bathing in herbal concussions. In addition to mugwort, many other medicinal plants also reach their peak growth in May. During the Dragon Ball Festival, it is a popular custom in many regions of China to gather these herbs, boil them, and then take a bath in the herbal water. People believe that this practice can cure skin disease, ward off bad luck, and bring good fortune. Wear five colored threads. In traditional Chinese culture, green, red, white, Black and yellow are the colors that represent the five elements wood, fire, metal, water, and earth, respectively. These colors are considered symbols of good luck. During the Dragon Ball Festival, people braid threads in these five colors into bracelets and wear them on their wrists or angles to ward off evil spirits and bring good luck. Dragon Ball Racing Since ancient times, Dragon Ball Racing has been the main event of the Dragon Ball Festival, particularly in southern China, where it is considered one of the most significant and vibrant events of the year. The boats come in various sizes depending on the region, but they are usually long and narrow. The bow of the boat is adorned with a dragon head and the stern is designed to resemble a dragon's tail. Often, the boats are decorated with gongs, drums, and flags, and sometimes the bodies of the boats are painted. In many places, before the official Dragon Ball racing event starts, various rituals take place, such as lighting incense to invite the dragon god and draping chicken blood on the dragon's head to worship the dragon god. In the past, worshipping the dragon god was a solemn ceremony held to pray for good weather, bountiful harvests, protection from evil spirits, etc. Nowadays, these superstitious rituals are becoming less common and Dragon Ball Racing has become less serious and more joyful, transforming into a big carnival event. Eating Zongzi No celebration of the Dragon Ball Festival is complete without Zongzi. 
Zongzi is the signature festival food for the Dragon Ball Festival that is usually quadrangular or pyramid shaped. It is made of glutinous rice and fillings that are wrapped in bamboo leaves or other zongzi leaves and then steamed. Zongzi comes in two main flavors as northern and southern China have different eating habits. Northerners prefer sweet zongzi, while southerners prefer savory zongzi. In the north, zongzi is sweet, often filled with red dates and bean paste. In the south, savory zongzi is more popular. They are usually filled with pork belly and sometimes topped with salted egg yolk or small dry shrimp for additional flavor. While Dragon Ball Racing mentioned earlier it's a grand event, it is impossible to hold such an event in cities without water. However, Zongzi is a different story. Whether you live in a city or a village in China, eating Zongzi is a must for the Dragon Ball Festival. In fact, the current generation even calls the Dragon Ball Festival the Zongzi Festival, highlighting just how significant this food custom is for this holiday. The Dragon Ball Festival, one of the four traditional Chinese festivals, was officially recognized as a national intangible cultural heritage in China in 2006. It then became an official holiday in 2008. Furthermore, in 2009, UNESCO listed Dragon Ball Festival as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Nowadays, the Dragon Ball Festival is not only celebrated by the Chinese, but also countries in the East Asian cultural sphere. For example, in Japan, Singapore, and Vietnam, the festival includes a tradition of eating something similar to zongzi. Dragon Ball racing is also becoming increasingly popular worldwide. It not only appears as a competitive event in the Asian Games, but it's also a spectacular and enjoyable sporting event loved by people in Western countries, thanks to the efforts of overseas Chinese communities. Although different regions have their own distinctive customs, the Dragon Ball Festival is a beloved celebration for the average Chinese. It is a holiday that people look forward to every year from childhood to adulthood, especially since it became an official national holiday. With the holiday providing three days off, Chinese people have the opportunity to spend time with family and friends to celebrate the festival. The Chinese call it a small, long vacation. This holiday presents a wonderful opportunity to experience the diverse traditions of the festival across different regions, and even encourages the development of tourism projects. If you plan to visit China and experience a festive atmosphere during the Dragon Ball Festival, here are some of the best places to visit. Hangzhou City, Zhejiang Province To see the Jiangcun Dragon Boat Racing Jiangcun is known as the hometown of Chinese folk culture and art. Legend has it that this was the folk event that the ancient Chinese emperor also watched and bestowed with the name the Grand Dragon Boat Racing. Dongguan City, Guangdong Province here, the Dragon Boat races do not last for just a day or two, but for an entire month. In Dongguan, Dragon Boat races have long-standing history are grand in scale, accompanied by fascinating customs such as drinking Rialgar wine, indulging in Dragon Boat meals, and singing Dragon Boat songs. Miluo City, Hunan Province this is a place where the renowned patriotic poet and minister Qu Yuan committed suicide by drowning himself. The annual Dragon Ball Festival in this region not only highlights the Dragon Ball racing, but also showcases various distinctive festival customs. Tongren City, Guizhou Province Tongren, 
also known as the home of traditional dragon boat racing. Its local government is actively developing Dragon Ball Festival tourism project. Celebrating the festival in Tongren provides a unique experience where you can witness vibrant Dragon Ball races surrounded by beautiful mountains and clear water. Additionally, you can participate in various festive activities such as wrapping zongzi and weaving the five colored threads and more. Fuzhou City, Fujian Province. Fuzhou has a rich history of dragon boat culture, but what sets it apart is the night dragon boat crossing. This magnificent event takes place amidst countless twinkling lights and provides an exceptional opportunity to immerse oneself in the rich cultural heritage that has been passed down for thousands of years. From the vibrant races in Hangzhou to the unique night dragon boat crossing in Fuzhou, there is no shortage of exciting events to experience the Dragon Boat Festival. Which one of the recommendations caught your eye? Join us in celebrating the Dragon Boat Festival. AL Language Cafe, acquire a new language, leap into a new world.